Today we're going to be tying the X2 caddis. I'm going to start off with some tan thread by the eye of the hook. Then we're going to tie in some cream colored or tan colored Antron. you got to be careful not to use too much here. I usually use about half the clump that it comes on. We're going to tie this in as we wrap backwards. This is going to be our tail or our trailing shuck. And I just kind of trim. I like this to be kind of scraggly. I don't like it to be too clean. I don't like a real blunt cut. It's kind of scraggly looking. Next thing that we're going to tie in is a piece of crystal flash. This is going to be for the ribbing on the body. Then what we're going to do is dub the body. And I'm going to be tying a tan one. The other color that I tied in a lot is olive. And you got to be careful not to overdo it with dubbing here. I like a, a fairly thin body. Now I kind of taper it as I go forward, making it thicker as we go towards the head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that crystal flash and wrap it around the dubbing. This just segments it and gets it to catch the fish's eye a little more. Next we're going to take some elk hair. I like to use a, uh, a bleached color. And you're going to need to get your hair stacker out too. So first thing you're going to do when you cut that is you're going to stack it. Get the tips of it nice and even. There you go. And you want that to be just a little bit longer than the, the hook. Oopsie, it all spun on me there. Oh, come on. If it spins on you, just kind of start over again. There's a little trick I'm going to show you here to keep it from spinning on you. That is to actually bite down in those the fibers there. That'll keep it from spinning. Then you're going to trim out all those extra blunt ends. Don't worry if it's a little shaggy. We're actually going to take some dubbing and dub over all of it. And I'll wrap it a little bit more and just make sure it's secure. This stuff, it'll really slip around on you if you 
Don't get it nice and secure. Now we're going to take that same dubbing we used on the body and we're going to dub the head. Got to be careful not to overdo it too much here. And then you can whip finish. And that is your X2 Caddis. I have a few stragglers of pieces of Antron. Just turn them out of there. Just a little extra piece of deer hair there, or elk hair. And that's your X2 Caddis.